Hi, I'm Emily Hayworth Boone, the author and illustrator of The Last Tree. I'm so thrilled that The Last Tree has been chosen for the shortlist of the Spark Children's Book Awards. Awards where children get to choose the winners are the best awards because, after all, who could be a better judge of children's books than you? Now, The Last Tree obviously is about trees. And I wanted to make a book about trees because I love them and I love drawing them too. All the blobs and the little leaves are so fun to draw. Um, it was great using the colour green and I think I got through about five of the same green coloured pencil that I used to draw the grass. Another interesting fact about the book is that it was almost called The Wall. And maybe if you read the story, you can guess why. And the last thing that the book is about is children themselves and how so often it's children who have the answer and know exactly what we need to do when adults are a bit confused or slow to act. So now I'm going to read you a little bit of the story, but not too much because I don't want to give it away. The Last Tree Once upon a time, a group of friends were looking for a place to live. The desert was too hot, the valley was too wet, and the mountain was too windy. Nowhere was quite right until they saw the first tree. And came to the forest where dappled light fell through the leaves and a gentle breeze twisted between the branches. All summer long, the friends lived and played among the trees and slept on the mossy floor. When winter came, the breeze turned colder and they took a few branches for firewood. But where they had taken branches, the rain came through and put out their fires. They chopped down a few whole trees to build shelters, but that made the forest colder still. So they cut down some more trees to turn their shelters into cabins. Soon it seemed that the more wood they took, the more they needed to take. When summer returned, the sun blazed down and there weren't enough trees left to shade them. Yet a few more branches made very pleasant porches. Before long, the people became skilled carpenters and all summer they worked hard to make the perfect village. Porches for shade, ladders for climbing up to build porches, laundry pole ornaments, laundry poles, carpentry tables, chairs for sitting under porches, rulers for making things straight and wooden sculptures to look at. But when the autumn winds came through again, they whipped through the spaces where the trees used to be, throwing all the villagers' fine work into disarray. They needed a new plan, one that would solve all their problems forever. Let's tie everything down with rope. That'll never work. We could catch the wind in big bottles. A barrier's the answer. Well, we have to do something. We need more wood. So they cut down all the trees still standing. All that is, except one last tree that was no good to anyone. What about that one? Oh, leave it. It's really more of a weed. Well, if you keep reading, you'll find out if it really is just a weed or if there's something more to it and what they decide to do. Thank you so much for listening and I hope to meet some of you soon when I come on my virtual school visits. Goodbye.